three abreast. Nothing between them as they begin the run of the final furlong. And it's the Antarctic in the center just with the edge from Wadao. A couple of lengths behind them is Maymar. As they run up to the finish, it's the Antarctic all out from Wadao and Maymar. The Antarctic stays on beak number five furlongs in the Coolmore Stud Calix race. Close for the second, Maymar and Wadao. Little Katie always last of the four. Three abreast, nothing between them as they begin the run of the final furlong. And it's the Antarctic in the center just with the edge from Wadao. A couple of lengths behind them is Maymar. As they run up to the finish, it's the Antarctic all out from Wadao and Maymar. The Antarctic stays on beak number five furlongs in the Coolmore Stud Calix race. Close for the second, Maymar and Wadao. Little Katie always last of the four. Break of a few lengths then, a measure of magic and quarantine dreams, Chiquinto and Majestic Cold. Geocentric is challenged on either side by Brustig and Logo Hunter racing up towards the final 100 yards and it's Brustig on the far side on top going to the line in the sole power sprint. Wins by less than two lengths from Logo Hunter, Geocentric and quarantine dreams. It's geocentric trying to stretch them. They've passed the halfway stage. It's chased by Brustig on the right, on the left with the nose band as Logo Hunter. Break of a few lengths then. A measure of magic and quarantine dreams. Chiquinto and Majestic Cold. Geocentric is challenged on either side by Brustig and Logo Hunter. Racing up towards the final 100 yards. And it's Brustig on the far side. On top going to the line in the sole power sprint. Wins by less than two lengths from Logo Hunter. Geocentric and quarantine dreams. Matilda Picard on the right in the centre as Treasure Trove meditate the near side. Little changes from the outset. Matilda Picard challenged by Meditate as they race inside the final 150 yards. And it is Meditate edging ahead of Matilda Picard. Staying on Coro on the inside. Meditate the winner from Coro who finished off well ahead of its showtime baby. And then Matilda Picard as Meditate backs up the cutter in the Coolmore EBF Philly sprint. Matilda Picard on the right in the centre as Treasure Trove meditate the near side. Little changes from the outset. Matilda Picard challenged by Meditate as they race inside the final 150 yards. And it is Meditate edging ahead of Matilda Picard. Staying on Coro on the inside. Meditate the winner from Coro who finished off well ahead of its showtime baby. And then Matilda Picard as Meditate backs up the cutter in the Coolmore EBF Philly sprint. as they race towards the final furling and a half. And it's lost on the outside of Deodora. There's nothing between them as they meet rising ground to the final furlong, breaking a few lengths away from Laugh If You Want and Real Force. It's lost in front. It's getting on top of Deodora as they go to the line. Lost is off the mark for the campaign in the Unstown stud. Deodora second and third Laugh If You Want and then Real Force. as they race towards the final furling and a half, and it's lost on the outside of Deodora. There's nothing between them as they meet rising ground at the final furlong, breaking a few lengths away from Laugh If You Want and Real Force. It's lost in front, is getting on top of Deodora as they go to the line. Lost is off the mark for the campaign in the Unstown stud. Deodora second, and third Laugh If You Want, and then Real Force. Racing inside the final two furlongs and it's Twilight Jet by just over a length to New York City. In the centre is straight answer with Andreas Vesalia. Salite the far side and then elliptic. They've yet to get to the front running Twilight Jet and Lee Roach are skipping away from New York City and Salite. 150 yards left to go and it's Twilight Jet all the way in the Goff's lack and stakes. Makes a seasonal reappearance, a winning one. New York City second, Salite in third. In the centre is straight answer with Andreas Vesalius. Salite the far side and then elliptic. They've yet to get to the front running Twilight Jet and Lee Roach are skipping away from New York City and Salite. 150 yards left to go and it's Twilight Jet all the way in the Goff's lack and stakes. Makes a seasonal reappearance, a winning one. New York City second, Salite in third.
It's still in front, Galleria Borghese from Red Azalea. After them, Kerkira with Lucky Mascot in Sierra Nevada. Girl Crush next with Frankenstein and Guanya Boya. It's Galleria Borghese toughing it out well in front from Red Azalea and Kerkira at the line. It's a win for Galleria Borghese making the breakthrough, beating Red Azalea and Kerkira. It's still in front, Galleria Borghese from Red Azalea. After them, Kerkira with Lucky Mascot in Sierra Nevada. Girl Crush next with Frankenstein and Guanya Boya. It's Galleria Borghese toughing it out well in front from Red Azalea and Kerkira at the line. It's a win for Galleria Borghese making the breakthrough, beating Red Azalea and Kerkira. Very good day for Aidan O'Brien. Amor Tentia from Rear Division is moving up and behind them. Then Eskimo Comet and Barba Pep and Alu Callan recurrent dream. Cowboy Justice gets to Eastern win on the inside. Finishing best of all is Amor Tentia, confidently ridden by Shane Cross. Amor Tentia returns, opening his account from Cowboy Justice, Eastern Wind, Eskimo Comet. A very good day too for Joseph O'Brien. Amor Tentia from Rear Division is moving up and behind them. Then Eskimo Comet and Barba Pep and Alu Callan recurrent dream. Cowboy Justice gets to Eastern and win on the inside. Finishing best of all is Amor Tentia, confidently ridden by Shane Cross. Amor Tentia returns, opening his account from Cowboy Justice, Eastern Wind, Eskimo Comet. A very good day too for Joseph O'Brien. Coming inside the final two furlongs in the Tote Always SP or Better Handicap. The final race and it's Longburn and Jake Cohn chased hard by Halle Bop and Colin Keane. Being followed by Crystal Black who stays on the far side of Tier Connell, Bucky Larson and Coins Cross. And it's Halle Bop on the near side going to the front in the final 100 yards. Halle Bop closes the card with a double for Colin Keane. Jer Lyons pulled away to beat. Longburn, then Coins Cross, Bucky Larson, Tier Connell. And it's Halle Bop on the near side going to the front in the final 100 yards. Halle Bop closes the card with a double for Colin Keane, Ger Lyons. Pulled away to beat. Longburn, then Coins Cross, Bucky Larson, Tier Connell.